said, I don't care. <laughs> I, I I don't care if he was parked on the side of the road making the TikTok. TikTok. Making the TikTok. <laughs> Uh, uh, over here talking about this is what you do. Are you in a fuel lot and watch somebody away from Detroit? You don't do that. You, you, you yeah. just like what you just said. You, you giving somebody an I fucking deal. And these dudes yep. out, and some of these dudes out here is mentally fucked. <laughs> you know yep. what I'm saying? You know they don't see a problem for that fifth wheel. Then you don't, you don't check it. And you make that first turn out the truck stop, that trailer slide onto a family van or something, and now you're responsible for it. You know? They'll exactly. do that. That's not even only that. They'll pull your airlines. They'll do all kind of crazy stuff like that. So when I saw... Initially, I didn't know he was joking. I thought he was being serious. But it, it, at the end of the day, it didn't matter to me. I was like, "That's you just giving these idiots ideas out here. And I just... I couldn't stand it. It didn't sit right with me. It actually happened to... Uh, it actually happened to one of our drivers. Uh... You know, one of my, you know, one of my people that, you know, work for the company kind of like, you know, told me like, yeah, uh, the, 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 the trailer actually came off while he was on the highway. I, I don't know how true, oh, I, I don't know how true that is, but, but yeah, they, they said that the, the trailer came off while they was in, while they was in transit on the highway. So. You know, maybe, uh, maybe they. I I can't see how they made it that far to get on the highway without knowing that they, you know, that they trailer, uh, that they fifth wheel was was pulled. Maybe it was halfway pulled, and by the time they got on the highway, it was, you know, yeah. it was all the way out. You know, but but yeah, that's you know the suggestions that I give people all the time is when you're away from the truck, when you come back to the truck, when you wake up in the morning, you know, do 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 your tub test. You know, like when you get up okay. in the morning, you know, you you hop in from the bed to the seat. You know, that's the first thing that I do. I, I do a, I, I do a tub <laughs> test. Then I get out. Then I do my pre-trip. And then I make sure everything is on point, And then I, I get going. But same yep. thing when I get the same thing when I come back at the fuel island. I I walk around my truck, you know, see, make sure everything is on point, do a, you know, do a tub test or two, and then I, I move out because like you, I'm I'm I got that paranoia. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't have no beef with nobody out here, but you know, somebody might be out here might not like like you know, might not like lock out men, but that's why I don't let everybody know where the freak I work at either. You know, a lot of you guys always yeah. want every guy, everybody like, where, where you work at, Lockout? Who you drive for? Hey. I, uh, I drive for, I drive, I, for, I drive for a company in Ohio. That's it. I drive for none of your business. Exactly. That's what I drive for. They exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you know, my, you know, I, I know my, um, I know my former, um, I know, I know my former uh, recruiter. You know, I know she kind of wanted me to, you know, do a little, you know, do a little thing, you know, uh, you know, do a little thing for, you know, to get people in. But nah, like nah. with social media yeah, for the yeah, company and all. Yeah. yeah, it was like, you know, I was like, hmm, I'm OK on that, you know, because, yeah. I, you know, I'm a I'm I'm a person of interest and there ain't no telling who don't like me out here. That's all I need. I, I, That's all I need for somebody to call. Know, I feel like this. You know, mm -hmm. I every time I watch these trucker vlogs and stuff like that, I look at it almost the same way of what's happening to these rappers. When you when you see the like what's the young thug and all them, mm -hmm. these rappers they, they the courts are using their lyrics against them in court. So if you walking around with a camera on your head and you have an accident in a CMV and you think they're not going to use that footage against you. Yeah, ah, think, think man. Again. Think, think again. I keep, I keep telling these people these, these, these social media, quote unquote, influencers is not giving them the real on trucking. They, they telling that they telling that trucking oh. is like a is is like a is is like a joke. It's like a happy place. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 if I can do it, you can do it too. Type deal. You know, it's okay. this. You know, the TikTok truckers. It's uh, there. You go. I, you know, I, I agree with you on all of that because 
It's a particular female truck driver. I'm not going to say her name, but we all know who she is. And I looked her up. And I, I love her videos. I'm not going to lie. I like her videos. But she's not being transparent. Because this is my biggest problem with them. is they, they make it seem like, oh, if I become a truck driver, I'm going to live that lifestyle. And no, you're not. One of them, she's, she has a master's degree in criminal justice. Okay, she, she, she was living that lifestyle before she became a truck driver. Okay, so you're not going to just get into trucking and then be immediately living that seventy eighty thousand dollars $80,000 lifestyle. It's not going to happen. Exactly. Year one, a lot of people think that's going to happen. It's not going to happen. And exactly. that's my biggest problem. Is they, they, they put on this, this front, like, that if you become a truck driver, you're going you're gonna to be living like me and, and taking vacations and having your nails done. And, and, and no, it's no, it, it, it's not going to work out that way. I, I know I have I have met tons of female truck drivers that I have mad respect for. They've been out here doing their thing, but they're not out here trying to make it seem like something is not, you know. And to be honest, that's, that's what and, and, and to be honest with you, I, I got mad respect for all, all female drivers because, you know, I, I talk to. You know, I, exactly. I, 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 I talked, I, I talked to over, over six, it's, it's almost a thousand people that I talked to so far and majority of mm -hmm. them and majority of them are female truck drivers that gives, you know, that gives me their testimony and all like that. And majority of them is, is like quiet. You know what I'm saying? The more, mm -hmm. in my, in my opinion, the more successful ones are the ones that's, that's, that's not being out in the open. Oh, I, I want to I, I wanna thank everybody for this, that, and the third. No, nah, a lot of them don't want to show they, their their journey. Yeah. You know, I've reached out. Yeah. I've reached out to maybe like uh maybe like a few of them. And they'd be like, yo, I appreciate what you're doing, Lockout. Thank you very much for uh, offering the opportunity to me. But you know what? I, you know, I I have a I, I have a standard that I want to, that, that I want to, uh, you know, that I want to have. And I appreciate you reaching out to me, but I'm going to have to, you know, respectfully decline. And I'd be like, cool. Right. And I, and I understand that, you know, but I do, mm -hmm. you know, I talk to them on the back end, you know, they don't have to, you know, I, I talk to them on the back end. That's why I get, that's why my knowledge is so vast. A lot of people think that I'd be talking bullshit when I be, when I be saying things, but, I, I right. know I know veterans from, you know, in trucking 30 years, you know, 20 years back in the 70s and the 60s because I talk to them. I don't they they not on the show, but I talk to them and, you know, just to sit back, relax and and listen to the conversation, because that's what I'm about. I I, I get like, oh, OK, I see where it is from then up until now. And I and I thank them, I thank them for uh, what they put in because what they put in they they put in the grind. See these new jacks don't don't understand don't understand what they got. You know they think right. that these they they think that these modern TikTokers know what they talking about and all like that. No, these are the people yeah. that's over here driving automatic trucks and. And getting and, and getting money from social media and all like that and over here talking about oh well I made six figures and no. no no and no. that's why all these new these new jacks is looking like oh wow you made six figures oh wow I want to get in an ad oh wow I see you I, I see you you know you got a load that 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 pays you seven hundred dollars and you only went seven I mean. You only went a hundred miles. Wow, I can do no. So and no. they don't show they show the owner operator. I thought that I wanted to be an owner operator. And when I graduated out with Steven, fuel was hitting about four twenty a gallon. And uh <laughs> now it's like six, seven dollars if you're in the right area. So mm -hmm. nah. Uh and it was another female truck driver and she's on TikTok. I don't I can't remember her name, but um she's a trainer. And her her student had recently had an accident. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, like, because people, people were putting it together. She didn't quite understand that this is not normal. She was the trainer. She was asleep in the bunk. Mm. And her student was driving mm. using Google Maps on mm. her phone. 
and crashed. Mm. And everyone, and everyone, she was like, "Well, I told her not to do it." And it was like, "No, you're the trainer. You're, you're the you're trainer. Supposed you're supposed to be in the there. jump seat." How are you? How are you training while you're sleeping in the bunk? Well, that's the way the company say it got to be set up. It's like, oh my no, god, no. See, that's 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 the other problem too. You know, I, you know, I I know companies like uh, CR England, CRST, Covenant. I know companies like that wants you know wants the trainer trainee to to uh, to to yeah, team. team, and it's not like yeah. that. I'm not gonna, bro. I'm no, no. You you're no, brand you're brand no. new on the truck. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave you without without me being in that jump seat. We gonna this is what we gonna do. We either gonna you gonna do I'll do the AM shift, you do the PM shift, and we're in that bunk at the same time, bro. I'm not right. I'm not driving. I'm not driving during the day, and you driving at night, or I'm driving at night and you doing the day. No, I'm up with you. So just in case right. you have any questions, issues, or anything like that, I am yep. able to help you out. And Google Maps is not the truck driver <laughs> specific GPS. Whoever told you that, sis, got you wrong. And you're gonna turn around yep. and be like, oh, I I, I told her that. No, you should have you should have been up with her because you would have seen that she was using. The Google Maps, and you could have been like, "Oh no, no, no! We we're not using Google Maps. We we're gonna use hey. the Ram and Nally or the or the Garmin." Now I use yeah. I use Google Maps while I am on the highway because it gives me mm-hmm. it, it gives me real time traffic. But when I'm off the highway, it's either it's either Ram and Nally or Garmin that's going to give me <laughs> truck specific. Uh, routes. Yeah, she gonna come on. What? What? She came on TikTok and say, "Oh, it's not my fault. It is your fault. You, you yeah, didn't. He was, he wasn't getting that. That's not a normal training situation where you're sleeping and the trainee is driving. First of all, now you that's your life you playing with now because uh, like, hello, you know, you don't you don't know. <laughs> I spent like my trainer. Shout out to him because Steven's policy was. You, if you're gonna, if the student is gonna drive at night, the the trainer has to be up there with you. And he had a Garmin, and that's what I spent my first check on. I spent eight hundred dollars on the the biggest Garmin you could get. I bought it at the the Loves in Kuwana, Texas, and that thing has been worth every penny. So oh, yeah, that Google Maps. I you you know what, bro? I you know I got I I seven years ago, and I'm still using it to this day. Seven, <laughs> seven years ago, I got my I got my Ram and Nally. It's the it's the seven thirty. Uh, what happened? The only reason why I got a Garmin, and the only reason why I got the new Ram and Nally is because I was in Illinois, and my lighter the 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 lighter plug broke, and mm. I I called myself you know I called myself inner Regan. It you know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah. it it didn't work, so I had to hurry up, go over to the loves, cause I was still in a, you know, I was still in the route. Yes, I do have my Atlas, but still, I wanted a gar- I wanted another GPS, so I yeah. got I I got the Ram and Nally. Uh, what's what's this? The seven fifty, and that piece of shit only lasted eight months, bro. I I said. <laughs> I said, "Oh my God!" Luckily, when it when it kicked the bucket, I was at the Loves, and I was like, "Yo, I I got this at Loves about eight ten months ago. Can I?" No, you only get thirty days. Did you did you try calling the number? Yes, no answer, no nothing. The service the service sucks. It was like, well, when the next uh-huh. time you going to the uh, tr- uh the trust show? Oh, the one that was canceled. <laughs> yeah, and and then I heard through the grapevine that Ram and Nelly don't even do that shit no more. So yeah. Mm. Oh well, give me the uh, seven inch Garmin, which costed me about well, it was on sale for five night. Well, I don't think that was a sale. I had to get uh, I had to send in for the for the hundred, but it was five ninety nine. 
and I got a hundred dollars back later. Um, so I got that. I got the seven inch, bro. I couldn't get the. I, I couldn't deal with that ten inch. I couldn't deal with that ten inch. <laughs> But yeah. I, I got back, you know, I went back home. Luckily, I didn't, um, luckily for me, I didn't, you know, trash my 730. So what I did, Amazon, got me a new, <laughs> got me a new <laughs> lighter adapter, and pff, here it is. I got both of them working at the, I got both of them working. So <laughs> actually, I got all three of them working, but, but yeah, you know. And don't, hey, 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 listen, I know a lot of these old school drivers going to turn around and be, well, I don't know why y'all get these newfangled GPSs for. Don't get no GPS. Oh, man. Nah, bro. Don't listen. Don't, they be, don't listen to them because they got one in their truck, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same yeah. ones, the same <laughs> ones that got the Atlas have a GPS in their truck, too, man. Don't. Don't don't let don't, look these these old these veteran truck drivers gonna they they know what's up they're gonna you know they're gonna talk to you and let you know what's up but some of them is some of them have to adapt to modern rays you know what I'm saying so yeah they got a GPS bro don't don't let and if they don't <laughs> I guarantee you they'll use that Atlas and the motherfucking phone so they got yeah. one I'm telling. I'm telling you. Mm. Oh mm. man, mm. Nate, Nathaniel, Nathaniel, bro. Hell of a good time. Hell a of a good time, bro. And again, I man, I, I, I commend you for, you know, for for you know taking, you know, taking account, you know, making sure that you protect your license, uh, making sure that you know this that going forward, uh, you know that going forward how you know the next company that you choose you know you know how to choose wisely you know what i'm saying right. so kudos to you bro thank you very much for coming on to the show man i appreciate it ah, thank you for having me man i'm a big fan of the show i'm gonna be watching hopefully i might come back on again sometime <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah no man you you uh you 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 uh you you're a citizen now that's what's up. You guys know that the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men podcast show. If you guys are interested in jumping on and hollering at me, y'all know what to do. 216-600-2090. Get at me and we'll get it in just like me and my man's man right here, Nathaniel. He's a new jack in the game, but he's he he got the mind of a veteran. So definitely shout out to you, man. Make sure you stay safe and sound out there, man, on your next go around and much success to you, bro. All right. Absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us right now. I really appreciate you guys listening to us. And, uh, yo, leave your comments in the comments below, man. You know, let's keep the conversation going. You guys take it easy. Peace. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids, went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, a bars, you got pops. Urge right the Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. I'll make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rum, pum, pum. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.